Welcome back to the ICF Mountain House build. Uh, last time we assembled the beam and got it into the beam pockets of the basement. This time we are going to try and install the steel support columns that we had custom made uh, to hold up the beam and put in uh, steel shims on the end of the beam in the pockets. It's about 35 degrees out and it froze last night so we kind of had a bit of a mud hole here. We're just having to deal with the weather as best we can. Uh, it's supposed to be like freezing rain tomorrow, so sunny today, no wind, got to get to work. Also, special thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring us again on today's video. A little bit about that in the end. Let's get to work. Oh, look at all this mud. Try and degrease them a little bit so we can spray it with primer. They did a pretty good job. All they ever do is clean. I know. <laughs> this is my own homemade cleaner, by the way. I do have a video on that. And normally I don't use paper towels, but I'm not throwing dirty cloth in my washing machine or something like this. Okay, uh, when I got the posts, I also got them to cut me some six by six uh, plates out of uh, steel as well. So I got some a couple half inch, a couple quarter inch, a couple eighth inch So I can shim the ends of my uh, beam in the pocket and the beam will sit on the steel Not on the concrete uh, Some people use pressure treated wood to sit their uh, beam on but I figured we'd use steel. So we're just gonna prime this up real quick All right, so this is the bottom. I'm gonna probably coat, well, I'm gonna prime and paint the, the whole thing, but I'm probably gonna coat this much in like a rubber roofing type of uh, coating, because this will be under the slab. jack posts ready so we can jack the end of the beam up a little bit um, to get the shims under it but uh, first we've got to get our measurements get this centered this way on each end and then uh, 
and then we'll get the height set and get it level. It's like spray on rubber. Right, I'm only going to put this rubber stuff on the half inch plates because that's the part that's going to be touching the concrete. The rest are just shims. That's pretty cool. Okay, I just measured the center line of the beam and I have to move this end one half inch and that end one inch and basically just do that a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna jack this up, get the plates under it and make that adjustment and uh, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, I have this jacked up a little bit and I've got a half inch plate under there. Um, and I just measured from the beam to the pad and we're almost exactly. So I'm gonna put this quarter inch plate in there just to get it up. And we'll do that on both ends, get it up higher. Then we'll get the posts kind of oriented under it. I'd like to uh, get the posts attached to the top, to the beam, and then we can finagle this to get it exactly where we need it to, set it down, and then I can bolt the bottom. So, right now, when I get up there, I want you to jack this up a little bit. You just crank on that very slowly, and I'll be able to fit this under. Oh, it's not going anywhere. It's in in this pocket by eight inches. Ready? Yep. One more. Okay, hold on. Okay. Alright, I got it. Cool. Half inch plate, quarter inch plate, crank it up a little bit. More. More? More. Hold. Okay, let her down. Hold on, you got the pole. Yeah, I got it. Okay, uh, can you grab me that level over there on the other wall? Looks good to me. Niggling around back and forth, measure, 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 recheck, measure, measure, move. Okay, so ended up jacking the whole thing up, getting the posts bolted to the beam, uh, and then we got it oriented this way the way we needed it to, and then we pulled a quarter inch shim plate out and dropped it back down, so now it is setting on a half inch shim plate, and everything's perfect. There's the half inch shim plate painted, coated in rubber so that the beam can bear on that and not the concrete and we're all good. The only thing left to do is a uh, hammer drill with a hammer drill bit and three inch tap cons we're going to put into the base plates and uh, fasten those to the pads. So that's going to do it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. 
Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. With Squarespace's blogging tools, you can tell your story, share your updates, and post your photos and videos on a scheduled basis that suits your needs. We've done that with our guildbrookfarm.com website and our guildbrookart.com website. Squarespace's social media tools authenticate with your social media profiles so that you can embed your content on various platforms without having to correct links and titles or tags. You can also use Squarespace's email campaign features to make your emails stand out and unify your voice across your website and brand emails. If you're interested in checking Squarespace out to build your own website, go to squarespace.com slash to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase.